All right, uh, still on the news, a team of Nigerian students have developed innovative solutions to address environmental degradation within the country. Now, through waste collection and recycling initiatives, they convert discarded materials into cooking fuel brochets using proprietary processes. These brushes are then sold commercially to local communities, providing a sustainable energy alternative. Details in this report. We were inspired by the reality around us. We want to meet a need. Zelada Okebro, a 12-year-old student at Kurudu Junior Secondary School in Nigeria's capital city of Abuja, is a member of an innovative team tackling waste management through technology known as the SAGE team. These young people between the ages of 10 and 19 are utilizing internet access to design smart solutions for waste recycling. The latest inventions include a smart bin and briquettes, an environmentally friendly cooking fuel. The smart bin collects paper waste, shreds it, and recycles the material into raw inputs for the briquettes. Well, it makes me excited, happy to see young ones such as myself to be very motivated and do innovative things. I use these briquettes, this money that we get from the briquettes, to at least start up something because I'm interested in technology. So at least I can use that money to get some, um, a robotics kit. Schools, particularly in low-income nations, face challenges managing paper waste. However, the iSchool Genius invention not only solves environmental issues, but also positions their school to realize economic benefits, as the briquettes generate nearly 95% profits. There is also strong interest in their smart bins. Schools are interested. The chairman of the FCT Universal Basic Education Board is already discussing so that they acquire some of these bins for schools across public schools across the FCT because it is something that is worth it, especially in terms of managing waste paper. So the market is huge. Actually, the invention is demand driven. For decades, Nigeria's education system has been underfunded, leaving many students, especially in public schools, with limited access to technology and hands-on learning opportunities. James Rotimi notes that entrepreneurship can be a game-changer for addressing school funding problems. Entrepreneurship is a key driver in learning if we must go forward as a people. So it is very key that governments across the states and local government should be intentional about promoting entrepreneurship education among students. One constraint the young innovators must address is securing adequate funding. Currently, their projects rely on local funding from the school community, with approximately 90% of raw materials for the smart bins having to be imported from Asia. The team believes partnerships could help scale production to meet demand.